Casey and we're on vacay mode and we got a real hot topic today, Brew Utilities. Should you pay them? Shouldn't you pay them? Do we pay them? So we're going to talk to y'all about that because many people have been asking this over and over again and we have a lot of questions and comments coming in on should you pay Cruise Utility and why they're even charging us because shoot we already paying a whole bunch of money just to go on a cruise. So many people want to know should they pay it or not. So we're going to talk about utilities and what we do. So usually, I'm not going to lie to y'all, we don't prepay our utilities. Nope. And one of the main reasons that we don't do it because first it's about the service. Secondly, it's about I want to make sure that my waiter or my um, room steward gets their money because yep. even though yeah you can prepay it it goes into a big pool and we have had some conversation with some of the workers there and they don't get that money so you right. know that's a that's a big concern of mine so I don't you know so we make that. sure yeah we make sure they get, get it in their hands because we've talked to our stewardess and asked them personally <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Do they even see that money? And they like, no. Now, I've been cruising for over 20 years, and they just started this gratuity add into the price. Now, we used to have three little envelopes, you know what I'm saying, that they used to bring to the room, and we used to pay each individual, you know, what we would like to pay by what the amount was e daily. So, you know, uh, um, so this new thing about trying to uh, come up with a prepay for gratuity, that is for those that, you know what I'm saying, don't want to have to think about it. You know what I'm saying? You know, don't want to have to think about, you know what I'm saying, so we save up some money at the end of the cruise to pay them. So I understand why it's important for them to do it. But for those that's old school that's been on the cruise, we paid them, you know what I'm saying, you know, what we want to pay them. And you know what I'm saying, it is definitely, you know, fair and we make sure it gets to their hands. You know, and get you straight to them, you know. But you got to be careful because the cruise line are very tricky because even though when you book your cruise online and even though or over the phone or however you book your cruise, you can tell them like, no, I don't want to prepay my utilities. But still yet, when that bill come, it will be on there. So you will still have to go down to customer service and tell them that you want it off. And me, while you're there, at least what I do, I pick up my envelope so I can go ahead and pay my gratuities to who I need to pay. Them and to. yeah, and also too, though um, you know, nothing against my you know travel agents, but some travel agents tell you it's mandatory and it's not. The gratuity is not mandatory, so I want to let you guys know that it is an option and it's optional for you to be to pay. But you know, but because everybody's doing a great job. I'm not against them getting paid. You want to make sure you pay the gratuity because it was, Definitely. you know, just like you having a hotel, you know, you tip, you know what I'm saying, the person that, you know, fix their beds up and stuff like that. But, you know, everybody's doing so much of a wonderful job. You know, I, you know, I don't feel like I should be, you know saying, forced to pay a, a certain <laughs> amount and don't know where it's going. So that's the, that's the clear cut reason why we do it the way we want to do it. But if you do want to prepay for it, it is $13.99 a day per person if you're like in a regular standard stateroom. But if you're like in one of the suites, I guess, it's like $16 per person a day. Right. So it's not that much of a difference, you know, but, you know, the choice is yours to do however you want to do. This is our opinion and this is what we do. So we just really want to share that because many, especially first time crews want to know, you know, do they, is it mandatory and do they have to pay it? Like, you don't have to pay it. So I just wanted to make sure we clear yeah. that up. Because you got many people that only can afford to get on a cruise. No, you know what I'm saying? So why should why should they be punished, you know what I'm saying, to have to pay more money if they don't have it? You know, they should have a good time too and pay or tip what they like. Because everything you buy on the cruise has an additional 18% gratuity Ooh, added high. to everything. <laughs> so you buy a drink, 18% gratuity. You buy some clothing, 18% gratuity. You add, you buy an excursion, 18% gratuity. Hey, I went to the sweet spot. I bought a donut, 18% gratuity. So right, even buying candy, 18% gratuity. You know what I'm saying? So you wonder, you look at your bill like, 
why is it so high? You know, and then some people, you know, it's kind of tricky. You know, so they already add the gratuity on your bill, and then you sign up for additional tip. So look at your bill when you, you know, saying are writing in the tip to make sure. But if you have no problem adding, you know, a, a more to the 18 percent gratuity, go ahead. We, we're not against that because you know, hey, they take it out of our drinks when we buy it, so we don't have a problem. Yeah, no problem paying it there. You know, they do. A wonderful, great job. So they deserve their tip, and I enjoy giving it to them in their hand. So that's my choice. You pick your choice. Right. So you know, you, uh, one thing about uh, the uh, gratuity, you got to remember: if you don't prepay in the beginning, it will be on your bill at the end. So depending on how many people in your room, it's being charged to each individual. So if it's four of you guys. You might look at your bill, you know, saying like, where is this four hundred dollars or more, you know, saying on my bill? Why is this on here? You know, like that. If you ain't got the money, <laughs> you better get to guest services the day before debarkation and ask them to take it off. They won't have no problem taking it off. And also, too, if you want a tip on your own. Ask them for envelopes and let them know that, that you want the gratuity taken off. It, excuse me. And you're uh, you're tipping, you know, you're tipping freely to, to everybody yourself. So as many people you want to give a tip to, that's as many envelopes you want to give to. So you know that that's uh, definitely insider. You know, because at the end of the day, you know, you're having a good time. You might spend a lot of money, and you're gonna forget about that gratuity on your bill and believe me they won't let you off the boat. You go to you go on there trying to you know clock out or I mean uh, use your uh sale card to get off the ship and they're gonna go red flag you. <laughs> We've seen that happen. <laughs> we, hey, believe you you wouldn't believe, you know what I'm saying, it's almost about what a good thirty to forty percent of people, you know what I'm saying, that have to go stand in line. And it, I mean it's a long, long line you gotta stand in. So to be on the safe side, make sure you look at your bill a couple of days beforehand, and they're not gonna put that uh, uh, gratuity on until the day before you get off the ship. So make sure you look at it. And make sure you go down the day before the guest service so you don't have to wait in that extremely long line because everybody gonna be wanting to party their last night out. They're not gonna be think thinking about it, but um, when you wake up that next morning when it's time to go, that line's gonna be out the door, so just go ahead and handle right. your business while you, you know, while it's still and, nice and, and mellow. And if y'all want to know, you know, like she said, it's around thirteen to fourteen dollars a day, but it depends on what state room you're in. You know, it can be a little bit more. It can be sixteen dollars a day. And I know, you know, personally, we we pay twenty bucks a day. You know, what I'm saying we we just put aside twenty bucks each. You know, what I'm saying a day for those who we tip it. So, you know what I'm saying, for seven days, you know, that, I mean, I calculate, do the calculations, but you, know but, you know, seven days, you know, with 20 people, I mean, $20, you know, per day, you know what I'm saying, I feel that's fair. You I know mean, what I'm these I, people work really hard, so, right. you know. But if you guys want to do the gratuity and prepay ahead of time, go ahead, you know what I'm saying, you guys are more than welcome. Or if you want to tell them to hold off and do it later, you can do that as well. If you do not want to pay that pre gratuity at all, you know, say you want to pay on your own, you want to pay what you want to pay, you can go ahead and do that too. We're, you know, we're just here to, you know, uh, give you the facts about it and, you know, uh, different uh, ways to be able to do, uh, you know, tip gratuity. And if you want to tip your bartenders gratuity, you know, you know, a little money, you know, here and there like that, believe me, they're going to take care of you. They're going to hook you up. Especially bartender in the club, oh man, you, get, you slide them a little tip. Um, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna get more than what you want. You're gonna get a couple more drinks and probably slide it for free. But anyway. And you know yeah. what? Uh, someone asked me, or there was a there was a comment left below, I believe. Um, they wanted to know why they get a bill even though that they prepaid their utilities. Regardless if you prepay or not, you're still gonna get a bill the day before. It's just company policy and that's what they're going to do. And that's good for you also to make sure that everything that you did do while you were on a cruise, you know, you can go over and check it. So regardless if you prepay or didn't prepay, everyone gets the bill the night before. Right. And when you go to those specialty restaurants, the ones you got to pay for, uh, they're going to charge you the 18% gratuity on top of, 
you know, uh, your bill. So remember that too. You, you know, it will, you know, when you're tipping, you know what I'm saying, remember the tip is already included. So, you know, just, you know, the, you know, FYI, you know, let you know, yeah. you know, to look at your bill to make sure you ain't overly tipping. Because but if you don't mind overly tipping, go ahead. Yeah, no, I was going to say, because when I bought that donut, I got charged 18%. But I want you to definitely look at your receipt. I gotta see if I can find mine so you, so we can pull up and show you. It also say additional tip. So if you're not careful, you might be like, oh, okay, I paid whatever for the donuts and ride another three dollars, and guess what? You done paid eighteen percent plus you paid an additional three dollars plus you paid for the donuts. So hey, if you feel like eating a twelve dollar donut, you know, uh, hey, you just gotta be careful about these things. So these just little tips and advice we have for y'all because um, these are things that we've been through ourselves. Yeah, and once again, like I like we said earlier, you know what I'm saying, we're not against gratuity. We definitely pay our gratuity. We just like to do it ourselves. We want to make sure it gets in the hands of uh, the persons that are very well take care of us. I know a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, have an argument with, oh, but what about the people behind the scenes and stuff like that? Okay, they all getting paid too. So, you know, uh, it, you know me paying the people directly, you know, so that's what we do. That's what we like to do. Pay them, and you know, for the folks. You know, we appreciate everybody and what they do on the ship as well. So, you know, I mean, that's what we do. But you do what you're comfortable with. You know, but um, we just wanted to make sure you guys understand clear across the board how the fertility works, and you know, it's your choice. And if you got any guys, if you guys have any kind of comments or questions, you know, what I'm saying or inquiries on what, you know what I'm saying, anything more in detail, feel free to uh, leave a comment because, we, you know, we always like to ask, I mean, answer everybody's questions and we try to get back with you as soon as we can because, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, especially for first time cruisers, you know what I'm saying, they definitely want to know, you know, they don't, we, don't, we don't want you to be shocked about certain things like, how come nobody tells me to tell us? So that's what we're here for and let you know, give you some good advice on that. Yeah, so if you thought these tips was helpful, Go ahead and like us and subscribe below. And also, like you said, if you have any comment or anything, you know, or give us some feedback. And if you, you know, something you think that we need to do better with this video, and just let us know. You know, hope you enjoy it. I'm Sean. This is KC. And we'll see you guys later.